Welcome back, my friends, to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. Got a small little device to share with you today. This is a half inch air vent. It's got the half inch male threads and then just a little plastic insert piece with a rubber uh, O-ring on the bottom. And this is to release air from the system. So this is how it comes and you um, got a couple other pieces here. So what I have is a female, uh, a female adapter. So we've got drip uh, 17 millimeter on both ends. And then what it, I also have a reducer bushing in there to take this from three quarter inch to half inch. So I can take our air vent and install the air vent into the system. So you can get three or sorry, half inch female adapters. I only had a three quarter inch. So we put the reducer bushing in to adapt it down to the air vent. So you can see that this moves back and forth. And the purpose of the air vent is to allow air. Um, let me see the best way to describe this. It's to allow air into the system. So when your zone uh, turns off, and for when the zone turns off, here's a piece of here's a piece of drip tubing. So let's say you're on a you're on a slope. You should hold that up. So when you're on a slope, and your your uh, the water drains out of the system, air has to come back into the tube, right? It's like if you you know had a uh, bottle of water and you pour water out of it, air is bubbling back into it. So same thing applies to a drip system. When the drip line is draining out air has to come back in. There's only one place where air can come back in. And that is through the emitters on the tubing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the emitter there. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Oh, come on. There it is. So there is an emitter. And when air comes back into the tubing through the emitter, it can bring dirt and debris with it. So to prevent that from happening, you can put an air vent on the system, typically at the highest point on the system. So when the zone shuts off and air has to backfill that void, it comes in through the air vent. And then the air vent is designed, right, to lift up and down as such, so that when the system is under pressure, it can seal it can seal off. So that's the that's the purpose of the air vent. If you're using Netafim TechLine CV with the check valve or the HCX or the HCV, I think it is, then you don't need the air vent at all. It's really for the DL tubing or other manufacturers of tubing that don't have the, uh, the built in check valve. And that and really the reason is when there's a check valve, water is not draining out of the tube when it shuts off. So when you turn your zone off and there's check valves, it holds about 15 pounds of pressure and the zone is not draining and because the water's not draining out, air is not being sucked back into the tubing and it's not bringing dirt and debris with it. So there's no need to have an air vent. So that's what this little device does. They come in all different shapes and sizes with different manufacturers. What I really wanted to do is just show it to you and then talk briefly about what the purpose of the air vent is. Um, I hope that helps. It can be a little bit technical, and if there's anything we can do to assist you with your design, troubleshooting, maintenance of your drip system, be happy to help you out. If you're watching this on YouTube, drop a comment down below. We'd love to chat with you on YouTube. And if you're watching this on our website, you can contact us by phone, chat, email, and text message. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.